everyone, welcome back to Budget with V. My name is V and I'm a 26 year old Australian who makes budgeting and cash stuffing videos here on YouTube. Um, if you have seen the title of this video, then you might have some idea what this will be. Today, I just want to see where I'm up to and I'm, this is purely <laughs> inspired by Budget with Kerry here on YouTube. If you don't know her, please do check her out. She's a UK based cash budgeter. I'm sure you probably already know of her or watch her videos, but she recently did a video where she went through her goals for the remainder of 2023 and just sort of did a check-in of where she's at, what she's saved and how much she has left to save. And this is something um, that I do on my online sort of budget sheet for my sinking funds at the start of the year. I might get the total amount, divide it by the amount of fortnights that I need, I have until it needs to be paid and then put that amount um, towards that sinking fund each fortnight. But I haven't done it with these ones here. So these categories that I'm going to be doing today are sort of my major goals, um, things I need to pay for, but also some fun things like holidays, um, things I want to get done like getting my emergency fund fully funded and a pet emergency fund Christmas, that sort of thing. So um, I just felt like doing this today. It is Mother's Day when I'm filming this on the Sunday um, here in Australia, but my I was halfway to visit my parents, which who live like three and a half, four hours away from me. I drove halfway and then found out my dad has COVID, so I have had to turn around. Um, so I'm just having a bit of a quiet day but that's okay. I've called my mum and hopefully we, we will be able to do something soon together. So what I might do is I might zoom you in so you can see. Okay. So this right here is um, sort of my goals. Uh, and I'm going to put down here how much I've saved for each category, how much I have remaining to save, how many months um, I have and how much I need to put away per month to each category to get there. So um, my first goal is to pay back our accounts, both for the tax bill and the dishwasher that we've recently purchased. So um, we started off the year with 3,500 owing and we are now, um, we still have I just wrote a little note. Seven fifty for the tax. Three forty five of over spends recently, and another three hundred for the dishwasher. So we have two thousand one hundred and five. Is that right? Oh yeah, that's that's how much we've saved, and we've actually also got. I've been putting a little bit of extra cash in here, um, and so this is to pay back the dishwasher. So we've got twenty. 60, 70, 80, $100 saved in the $300 challenge. So that's another $100 saved in that category. So we've saved 2,205. And that means we have remaining 3,500 minus 2,205, 1,000, $295 remaining and we have the rest of May and June to pay this back so because I want to get it up to date for the tax year. I mean, I've got a coffee that I've made. Um, let me just take a sip. Um, so we have $1,295. I'm going to say maybe I'll do this per fortnight since I do budget in fortnightly. So I'm gonna do the time in fortnights too. Oh, will that be confusing? Anyway, let's just do it. <laughs> so we have three fort pays until the end of the tax year. So three. So that means one, two, nine, five divided by three. So we need to save $431 per fortnight or four, I'm going to say $432 per fortnight to pay that back until the end of June. And then that goes to zero. 
um, then passport. So currently we've got the 100 envelope challenge, which is saving for this. And I believe I counted, yeah, $192 we have in here. So we have $192 and I looked it up the other night and it's $340 for a passport for 10 years. So we need $148. Now, this is something that we weren't as rushed because we weren't going overseas until at least October. But due to some family circumstances and a family member that's a bit sick overseas, we may in New Zealand, we may need to get this done sooner rather than later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this for the, until the end of June as well. So three fortnights. So that should be about $50. So $148 divided by three. So let's put that up to $50. Let's go until end. Of... No, we'll just leave that. Okay. Okay. So the next one is cruise. So this is a cruise we're going in December. So I, we still need $900 for the actual cruise. Plus spending money, I'm going to put a thousand. I don't know if that's too much or not. Oh, and we need um, the flights, which are probably about 900 to Brisbane. Plus um, excursions. And I might put another thousand for that. So that's 3,800. And we haven't saved anything for this. Um, I guess I could have put the 400 deposit, um, but I'm just going to leave that off and we have until December. So, um, June, July, August, September, October, November. So that's six months. So that's 12 fortnights plus one left in May. So that's 13 plus there's an extra one in August. So that's 14 fortnights. So 3,800 divided by 14. So $272. Now this is going to be something like this will only go for three and then we can bump this up to double this. I don't know if that makes sense, but this is just an overview. It's not going to show the full picture. So then we've got New Zealand slash Bali because I don't know if either of those happening, if both are happening or what at this stage. It's a bit up in the air. Um, so that's for flights and spending. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say 2000 for it all. Um, now Josh has got a little envelope in here for... barley and this has $25 in it <laughs> um, so that's something at least so take 25 1975 to go and we've got $25 so this um, June July August September October that's five months plus two extra so 10 12 don't know if that's right, but we'll just go with it. So that's 165 for Fortnite. So uh, this is for my friend's wedding slash hens. Now I want about, if we don't count the wedding gift, because that will come from gifts, so just for the hens, I'm going to say 450. Is that too much? So 450 and then we've got, this is in here, I hope this isn't too zoomed in, um, we've got 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, $70 in here. Um, so got $70 in that one. 
minus 70. So 380 to go. 70. And I want to get this done in three fortnights as well. So that's 126, 127. Uh, baby. So baby is something... I did have a goal of 2000 for the year, but I'm going to lower it to 1000 because we have a lot of expenses and I'm trying to not overstretch myself. And I think it's like, obviously we can try to get the 2000, but I don't want to be disappointed just because I set a goal that was way too high. So I'm going to set a thousand dollar goal for this because it isn't something we're going to do right away anyway. So it's something for the future. Um, but it's just good to get ahead, I guess. So in baby, I think we have, so this is for future baby. If you didn't know, I'm not pregnant or anything like that. We're not even trying. This is just for the future so that we're not having to deal with all the costs at the time. So $240, that's right. So we're about almost a quarter of the way there, which is really good. So take 240, which means we have 760 to go. And we'll do this till the end of the year. So June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So that's 12, I mean, seven. So that's double that. So 14, then one in May, 15, one extra in August, 16. So 16 fortnights. So that's... Forty-seven fifty, so forty-eight dollars. Month ahead. This isn't necessarily a month ahead, but this is a new category I've recently added to my joint expenses. So future bills is what I meant. So I've got five dollars in there so far, and I've added one of the challenges I got in the um, one thousand savings challenge binder and I'm going to add them to here as I do them and just do one at a time. So I've got this saves a total of 150 and I really like this because it's really manageable numbers. So my goal for this envelope is 300 and this is just to act as a buffer for my bills slash um, getting ahead because eventually I want to do um, like try and save for future maternity leave so that I can not be stressed during that time financially or too badly um, because I won't get like the full amount that I would, I don't have a job where it would pay the full wage. It would just pay the government sort of minimum. Um, so I'm going to have my goal set to 300 to keep it manageable. And if I reach it then I can then reset a new goal, but I really want to set something that's manageable for me. So Month ahead, um, we have saved five and we have 295 to go with 16 fortnights to go. So 295 divided by 16 is $19. It's about $20. Pet emergency, our goal is 500 and we have $100, I think. Yes, we do. I don't even need to check that. So um, remaining 400 and we have saved 100 and we'll do that by the end of the year as well. So 400 divided by 16 is $25 a fortnight, which is pretty reasonable because at the moment we're putting $20 a fortnight, which we can up once we've um, paid ourselves our accounts back. So as you can see, once these first three sort of payback, passport and wedding is all paid for in the first three fortnights, we can then bump these other ones up. Emergency fund. So we are aiming for a $5,000 emergency fund and we have 4,500, which means we have $500 remaining and we've saved 4,500. Not all this year, don't worry. We've saved about 500 of it this year. And we have 16 fortnights to go. Oh, divided by 16. So $32 a fortnight, which we'll reach because 
We're currently putting $50 a fortnight and we should be able to up that soon to get that goal done quicker. And Christmas. Christmas is one that actually really links to the cruise flights because we're actually going to do Christmas with my husband's family up in Brisbane um, just before we go on the cruise and it'll be like an early Christmas with them. So the flights for that is half costing uh, because we're going on the cruise and half for Christmas. So that's why my goal for Christmas was set so high. So I think I set it for like 1,400 with the tracker. Um, but we won't, we won't need that amount for just Christmas if the flight's coming out of here. So what I might do, I'm going to keep my tracker the same, but I'm going to set my goal a little bit lower. Uh, we have 150. Oh, you probably couldn't see that, sorry. Um, and so we've saved 150. What should I set for the goal? So 1,400. Say we bought the flights for Christmas. That would be 800. 600. I'm going to set the goal for actual Christmas as 800 just to give a bit of a buffer. So remaining, so we've saved 150. So 800 minus 150 is 650 to go. And 16. I'm going to set it at 14 fortnights because I want to get done by November, end of November. So divided by 14 is. 46.50 each fortnight so I'm just going to put that at 50 so $50 a fortnight all right so um, now that I've done this uh, I'm going to add up how much is remaining to, to save and how much per fortnight is to save so So I've done that. So we've got remaining to save for the year $10,203. And we have, um, it says $1,220 per fortnight to save. But after, like at the moment, all our money would be sa paying back to accounts and passport really. But once those are done, we'd have 1220 minus 432 minus the 50 for passports and minus the 127 for the wedding. So that would take it down to 611 a fortnight, which is actually quite reasonable um, because I think we're saving about five or 600 a fortnight at the moment that we can do. Um, it's just all going back into save, paying back the accounts or a little bit into some of the other envelopes or whatever, but that's just to keep them ticking along while we sort of snowball. Um, so next, I hope you can see this, uh, is the challenges that I'm saving. So this is what um, Budget with Carrie did. She put down all the challenges that she's going to be doing and where she's going to allocate them and then then worked out how much left she has remaining to pay basically after those have been applied or distributed to those things. Okay, sorry, I just, that coffee is like giving me life right now. <laughs> I've been so exhausted and I don't really know why. I've, I travel a lot for my job and so I've been on the road a lot. I, I don't even know why otherwise I'd be so tired, but I am. So, all right. So the quarter two challenge is in my personal savings binder just here. I've got 185 in here at the moment and I'm going to try and finish this next fortnight. So I'm going to, I know it's out of order or whatever, but I'm going to put 115 into here next fortnight out of my own money and that will complete that. So that will give me $300. 
I've also already finished the autumn savings challenge, which was $100. And I've got that still sitting at the back here, waiting to be sort of distributed as well. I've then got the scratch off challenge, which won't be finished yet. Um, it's got, I think only $40 and it saves 200, but I'm going to put it down and allocate that 200 to something that um, is a sort of later down the track because it's not finished yet, basically. Roll the dice and coin challenge is from joint money. And these two are um, things that aren't done yet, but when they are done, that'll be 150 and roll the dice will be, I think 120 or 130, I'll put 120. And they're gonna, I might put them towards something that is like Christmas or something like that, that is way in the future because they're not done yet, but they will be hopefully by the end of the year. So quarter two plus autumn, it gives me $400. Then I've got scratch, which will be done later. That will be 200 and then joint challenges will give me 270. So out of this 400, I think I did think about this the other day, but I can't remember what I thought. Um, I'm going to put, oh yeah, that's right. 150 into um, N wedding. So that's this one here. So that's 150 plus um, the 70 already in there. And I'm going to put um, so that will give me 250 remaining. So then I can put 50 to passport. And 50 to baby. And then I'm going to put the remaining, what is that? 200, 250. So 150 into game day because I really want to do that with the Uno cards. So that still gives me the chance to do that, but then really bump up some of these other things that are priority. The scratch challenge, which will be done later um, in a, maybe a month or two, maybe two months. And I want to put it into something for me. So that 150 will go to things like other things I want to fund that aren't these bigger priorities, like my birthday or something like that. Um, I'm going to put fifty into sorry, I haven't really thought about this. Uh, travel fifty into baby and one hundred into another game day or other distribution of the funds into my own folders. So that will get rid of that. And this joint, I'm going to put that into Christmas, I think, because that might take a while to get done. And I don't, or maybe, maybe I should put it into travel as well. Yeah, let's put that into travel. Okay. So that's all that done. So let's move down. So Pay back to the account, that will, that's the same as what it was before. So that'll be 432 and remaining 1295. Passport, so passport's gonna get 50 of that. So it had 148 remaining, take 50. That remains 98 remaining, divided by three, four, you can't probably see, remain, divided by three remaining fortnights. Divided by three gives me $33 a fortnight, which is much more manageable alongside that other. 
um, cruise. So that's travel where I'm going to put that. Um, it has 3,800 remaining minus the 270 from those challenges minus the 50 from the scratch. And that's it. So that remains 3,480 remaining to save. And that's divided by 14 fortnights. So that's $250 a fortnight. Then New Zealand slash Bali, that still has 1975, which gives me 165. Wedding, so that goal is 450. We have 70 from my fold up minus the 150 from the challenges. That gives me 230 left to save between three. So that's still $77. Okay. Fortnite, that's okay. Baby, that has $760 minus $50 minus $50. So that's $660 remaining divided by $16. So $42 a fortnight. That's per fortnight. Month ahead. That hasn't changed. Pet emergency. That hasn't changed. Emergency. Hasn't changed. And Christmas. Hasn't changed. So, if we do this again. Gives me 9,583, which is less than 10 grand, which I'm really happy about. That seems just mentally more manageable. If that makes it, oh, I'm sorry if that was cut off. Um, it basically 9,583 instead of 10,203. So it's much more mentally manageable, I feel. So then how much per fortnight? So four, three, two. So that's 1,125 and then that's including those payments that will stop after three fortnights. So take 432, take 33, take 77. So after, so in the new financial year, that'll mean new financial year, it'll be 583 per fortnight to reach our goals, which is within our means, which is great. So it means we can achieve all of our goals, basically. And I'm going to take you to the next page, which is where I wrote down um, each month and our expected savings for that month. So if I add all of this up, now this is very general. This doesn't take into account if there's unexpected expenses or overspends or um, maybe not as much income as I first thought or whatever. This is just very general. So this comes to $10,050, which means $10,050 minus the 9583 so that leaves $467 more that we have than we need. But again, like I said, this isn't necessarily all of our income. It might be more, might be less, whatever. So for the last half of May, we still have 500 for, 
because we've got only one payday left. So I want to um, just have a look. So if we pay back the accounts for that, I was going to... I don't know if that was necessary to look at that because it'll be too hard. What I want you to do down below, please let me know if you have a good way um, of doing or putting it down on paper, how much. Um, so these are the amounts that I've got expected to come in for savings to put towards these categories. Um, and these are the timelines that I need to save. So for example, like back, Sorry, but... boys. Like for example, back to the account is four hundred and thirty-two dollars a fortnight. Um, so I want to show like on a graph maybe of when that stops, and then you can put stuff start putting this money towards the next category. It's sort of like snowballing, like a good way to show that. If you have seen someone else do a really um easy way to look at that or um whatever please let me down know down below and I might have a look at it to to do that but for now I think I'll just leave it with what I've done so far because I do feel really good that we will use some of this to to sort of reach our goals but also have a little bit of fun with it and also be able to know that we can actually afford what I've put down and I'm glad I've lowered my expectations of some of these other things that I want to achieve. Like, yes, I'm really excited to get like six months ahead or whatever um, in bills for maternity leave, but in the future, but that's not something that I can do within trying to do all these other things. So I think it was good to scale it back a little bit. What I do want to just quickly do because I'm here <laughs> is just put my change into my penny savings, penny savings, coin challenge been watching so many UK <laughs> YouTubers that I um, are saying, am saying pennies when we don't even have pennies. So I have 50 cents here, which can just go straight into my coin jar. And now that I have sort of a place that this is going to, I'm really keen on getting it done um, and just put it straight into the 100 envelope box, get that done. So it's exciting. Um, yeah, I don't know if I rejigged this just to put a couple of my challenges at the front and then I've put the more sinking funds type things in here now. Um, I did take $20 out of my savings to put towards the dishwasher just because I was just wanting to get a bit more chunk that done. I still have my money for Mother's Day in here <laughs> because I couldn't go. So that's still sitting there. What else? Oh, I do have another binder coming, which I'm super excited for. Um, I've got one of the, just the, like the lilac colored ones coming and I'm going to split this. So these are going to go either stay in here and then this half will go into the long-term one or whatever, but just to, make this less chunky and get my setup nice. But yeah, I'm really excited that I have done this now. I've been meaning to do it and it was really nice to just do this in this way. So thank you so much Budget with Kerry um, for the inspiration. I think it was really good. And if you haven't done this um, for your own goals this year, I really highly recommend because it's just given me a bit more clarity and a bit more motivation to get some of these um, like joint challenges done and that sort of thing. So yeah, it's super exciting. Um, let me know what you thought of this video down below. And if you made it to the end, um, give me a hedgehog emoji just to show me that you are still watching. So thank you if you have. I, I've been super rambly today. It's going to be a really long video. Um, but thank you so much for watching and commenting and liking. It means so, so much to me. You don't even understand. Um, I get so much joy from it. So thank you. And um, I hope you're having a really nice Mother's Day or 
weekend, um, depending on your circumstances, whatever's going on. Hopefully it's an okay weekend for you. Um, but I'll catch up with you again next time. Thanks. Bye.